hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc and we are back at it again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to 50 years of research on islam by a jewish um professor moshe sharon so let's see 50 years Oof. 50 years is a very 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 long time like 50 years that is crazy honestly that is crazy but i would like to see how he summarizes everything that he has learned over the years in five minutes that takes top-notch skills honestly to summarize everything that you have learned in 50 years wow but yeah let's get straight into today's video shall we this lecture which has to do with my studies of islam for the last 50 years with um, the lecture that was given before about Darwinism, whether it's scientific or not, whether it is religious or not. And in fact, I found out that um, Islam uh, in the seventh century already spoke about natural selection. And in fact, uh, the birth of Muhammad, the creator of Islam, is an outcome of a divine and if you want natural selection. In Arabic, the name of Muhammad, uh, Muhammad's got many names, but one of the most important names is Mustafa. Mustafa in Arabic means he who was selected. And the idea is that since the time of Adam, the first human being, God selected from every generation the best of all the descendants of Adam. So there was a, some kind of natural selection, one generation after the other. Until at the end, he selected the best of the best of the best of the best. And this is the Prophet Muhammad. And he chose him to give him his word, the exact word of God. And of course, selected him to be the Prophet that will bring to humanity the finest of all revelations. This is Islam. Understand that, that Arab, the Arabic language being the language of God, the only language of God, all the other languages are not the divine language. This is the language which was the God's, God's, um, God's uh, prophecy or God's uh, uh, holy book was transmitted. Um, that the Arabic language is the most versatile language possible and the Arabs are experts in using these language to finesse, which, um, uh, which only people that really live with this language understand. So, um, what I want to do this evening with you is to talk about the theory of war, the theory of peace, and talk about few terms which are used by, by Muslims and by Arabic-speaking Muslims. Like there are many Muslims in the world, you know, we're talking about one billion and a quarter people in the world. We're talking about a huge quantity of people that are Muslims in the world. And it's not, an easy, it's not such a simple thing to make so many people Muslims. It means that we are talking about a culture which is highly rich, highly interesting, and highly rewarding. And that's what the most important thing. It's highly rewarding. Because it basically for the ordinary person, it's a very, very simple religion. I'm not talking about philosophers. I'm not talking about um, academicians. I'm not talking about, uh, about the great theologians. I'm talking about the simple person for whom Islam is the most rewarding of all religions. The end of the story, if he is a good Muslim, when he dies, he is going to go straight into paradise, and paradise is described in the most colorful way possible in the Quran. And um, this, uh, for this reason, I think we should speak about Islam with um, great respect. And not just, you know, as I can hear some people say, well, it's Islam, it's nothing. No, it's not. And it's not a simple thing that a person like me and others like, like uh, me in the academy, um, uh, in fact, uh, dedicated their life for the studying of this culture. Now, Islam is not a religion in the ordinary, simple way of thinking. 
Islam is a culture which comprises everything. In most of all, it is a culture based on revelation and it is a culture which is based on a legal system. It is basically a legal system. It is a legal system which comprises everything. It comprises the life of the individual, it comprises the life of the society, it comprises the state. That's one thing. Secondly, it is a world religion. It's not like Judaism, which is not a world religion. It is connected with the chosen people, and it's only for them. And it's not connected with the territory of the world. It's connected with one small country. Islam is a world religion connected. Okay, guys, so that brings me to the end of this um, short clip. And hmm, I feel like more could have been said, but I saw along the lines that it was, a, it was a much longer lecture, which I am interested in watching. So I'm probably going to watch this, the whole lecture. And, you know, recently I reacted to why the Quran was written in Arabic. And like he rightfully said, you know, it's a divine language. No other language is like Arabic. Arabic is a very complex um, language. And, you know, when you just hear it, you just feel like there's, there's something in it. You know, it's so beautiful the way it is said, the way it is written. You know, nowadays a lot of people get tattoos in Arabic simply because it just looks amazing you know it just looks so nice same thing with the language you know hmm. arabic is honestly one of the finest languages i've heard so far now of course everybody has their own opinion on this but for me i feel like it's a really really lovely language also he mentioned how islam is the most rewarding um religion um honestly i feel like this might be true because when you're reading the quran you see like god is talking about how um um it speaks about how like you'll be rewarded for certain actions and so for example charity and so on good deeds and how your rewards will be multiplied and all that stuff this is something that i don't think i saw in the bible i don't think i've read in the bible but you know that is something I noticed between in the Quran. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, this is honestly incredible. The way, like, one action can take you straight to Jannah. It's amazing. It's honestly crazy. For example, let's say you rescue a cat, right? A drowning, a drowning cat. The reward that you're going to get for that is crazy. So I really, really genuinely feel like um, reward is definitely in islam like that is something that is like you know it stands out it really does stand out you get rewarded for so many actions even the smallest thing that you do could have the biggest reward so that is certainly true and lastly i think you mentioned about um islam not being like ordinary and that it's you know it's it's quite hard it's not a sim it's not as simple as people make it seem i feel like being um muslim is very hard um i imagine because you know having to pray five times a day especially for women having to cover up like it's very hard especially in this day and age whereby you know we see a lot of half naked girls compared to seeing um fully covered girls and it's like <laughs> We live in a day and age whereby your parents, yeah, whereby your parents would rather see you naked than covered. Crazy, right? Crazy. But I'll get into detail one day, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, that's the society we are living in now. Like people would rather see you naked than covered. It's crazy. But yeah, but yeah, Islam is not an easy religion in my opinion. I feel like there's a lot that like honestly muslims deserve praise honestly they really do praying five times a day making sure you do will do all the time bro 
is hard in my opinion but i feel like i feel like that is where the reward is though you know for example christianity you choose when to pray like i don't like mm, i feel like there is not much there isn't um much discipline in christianity compared to islam and that is honestly one thing that i absolutely love about islam the discipline you know you are disciplined and when you are disciplined you get so much reward you know and that's really something that i love about islam the discipline of it but yeah thank you all so much for joining me today i hope you guys enjoyed learning about his story and i'll see you guys in the next one please do not forget to like comment share and please do not forget to subscribe and take good care of yourselves bye guys